so I just got done doing a stream and I wanted to do a vlog sitting here at my computer mainly because I actually took notes on the things that I want to remember to tell you that I read today it's, pr it's a pretty crazy story so what happened was um, I was searching uh, the devil room so Satan or whatever from uh, Binding of Isaac or whatever and I wanted to find out what the keyhole in his head meant and why I can't blow him up etc um, if you don't know about the game you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about let me take my headset off my hair is going to be all messed up but whatever um Anyway, so, um, I was trying to find out what the fuck his deal was or whatever, and the first thing that popped up when I typed in Satan was, um, the Satanic Bible, and I was interested because I was like, you know, I've never really, uh, read about, uh, Satanism or anything like that, um, or the Satanic Bible, so I was interested in it, so I clicked on it. Um, I know very little about religion in general, and I always just assumed what the media told me, which is always the wrong thing to do, but I always take everything that the media says with a grain of salt. So, like, when you think about the Satanic Bible, and being a Satanist and all that stuff. Don't you think about someone who actually worships Satan, like the guy with the pointy tail who's like evil and, you know, kills people for no reason and, you know, sacrifices animals, all that kind of stupid shit, right? Like, that's what you think about when you think about Satan. But that's totally not what the Satanic Bible preaches at all. And it has nothing to do with that. And it's actually something that I... A lot of the things that they're saying and a lot of things that, um, that are ideologies of the satanic bible I actually agree with so I feel like what am I like a satanist and if I ever said that in public people would be like oh my god she's so terrible and I can imagine like those awful PI magazines that you see that like blow things out of proportion and say like stupid shit tabloid magazines I guess that's what they're called um like would be like oh my god Angelina Jolie is a satanist <gasps> and all that stuff um she worships satan or whatever but um so I put a, a couple of notes um and emailed myself some of the things that I think are very logical and very reasonable and just like, it seems like a lot of people who follow a certain religion, like Christians and stuff like that, are actually following what, um, what, you know, the Satanic Bible preaches without even knowing it. Just like, indulging in things and then like, like saying arbitrary, like, I'm sorry's to the Lord in order to get back into heaven or whatever, that never made any sense to me. You should just, like, live your life the way you want to and whatever makes you happy and indulge in the things that make you happy, even if they're considered sins or whatever. So, um, one of the things that the Wikipedia page highlights is, like, it's not devil worship and they don't worship external gods, like, altogether, they just banish that, which is pretty cool. Um, because I don't feel like... And, okay, so I totally believe in this statement of what they said. Um, God is not an external entity, but rather something that each person creates as a projection of his or her own personality, a benevolent and stabilizing force in his or her life. So, when someone's having a hard time, or if someone is afraid of dying or whatever, they create this person that, um, makes them feel better about the afterlife. So it makes them feel like their life has more meaning. A lot of people have existential crises crises where they're like um man I don't know what I'm gonna do after I die this is gonna be awful like is my does my life even have meaning I'm so afraid like my loved one who died you know where is he right now there's got to be an afterlife God's taking care of him yada 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 there's a reason to be a good person and it's basically just like uh you know a star that lights the way that tells you how to be a good person and so in in that religion is a good thing for some people but I always feel like it's like the weak-minded weak-willed people that need direction rather than like someone like myself who just you know knows what knows my morals and have strong beliefs and I know what's right and wrong to me and I just follow that as a North Star rather than having something else and I'm not afraid of you know not going to an afterlife and all that shit it just doesn't bother me because it's like you know we're here when we're here and just we should be having fun and you know being good so there's these nine like not commandments but these nine like truths uh, in the satanic bible or whatever and some of them are really good. Um, like, Satan represents indulgence instead of abstinence. They all start with Satan represents or whatever. Um, so, indulging in the things that you love instead of abstaining from them and, like, basically just self-torturing so that, you know, you go to heaven. Like, that's so stupid to me. Um, oh, there's some other ones. Um, yeah, the one that says Satan represents undefiled uh, wisdom instead of hypocritical self-deceit. That's one of the things. Um... Satan represents kindness to, the, to those who deserve it, instead of love wasted on ingrates. Like, you know how um, Christianity preaches just being nice to everyone and loving everyone? Niceness should be allocated, in my opinion, to people who have garnered respect from you, not just, like, everyone. And I've, like, I'm a strong believer in that. And it's so funny because um, the original Satanic Bible um, cited uh, Friedrich Nietzsche. I can't say his fucking name. Friedrich Nietzsche. 
<laughs> it's so funny, um, my boss from Zoom and Games is Dutch, so he can say it, and he's, he sent me an audio file one time of how to say his name, and I've been pr practicing it, but I can't fucking do it, but he's my favorite philosopher, like, of all time, and a lot of his, um, ideas are what kind of inspired the Satanic Bible, the guy who wrote it, his name's like Anton something or other, McVeigh or something like that. Um, there's some more... Hmm. Satan represents vengeance instead of turning the other cheek. I kind of agree with that. I don't feel like we should just all be nice to everyone, you know, no matter what they do to you. I agree. But the one I like the most, and the one I believe in the most, is the one that says, um, Satan represents man as just another animal, sometimes better, often worse than those that walk on all fours, who, because of his divine spiritual and intellectual development, has become the most vicious animal of all. And I agree with that. Like, we're, we're ruining the world. And I actually, um, I... I was looking through Instagram and, um, crazily enough, there was actually this picture. Let me see if I can show you. See how it's, like, Pac-Man eating, um, like, Pac-Man is a bunch of, like, a city, and it's just eating nature. And, like, the more, like, fucking trees we cut down, like, the rainforest type stuff, or, like, trees we cut down to pave way for, like, industrial, you know, civilization, it's just, like, ruining, like, a bunch of habitats for animals and a bunch of things that I view as, like, what makes the earth pretty. The, you know, instinctual animals that haven't risen up and decided to destroy the world with their, you know, greed and all the stuff like that. Um, so that's something I believe in. Um, let's see, what else? <laughs> Satan is the best friend the church has ever had, as he's kept it in business all these years. It's funny. Um... So, it says, religion is criticized as a man-made construct, and the reader is urged to question everything and destroy lies that he or she uncovers. Long-standing lies that are believed to be irrefutable truths are identified as the most dangerous. So, like, knowing that God exists and just, like, you know, Jesus take the wheel type stuff and being like, God, uh, I'm in God's hands, blah, blah, blah. Like, all of those irrefutable truths that people believe are just, like, so dangerous because no one's actually questioning anything. And my parents brought me up to never believe anything that anyone tells me unless I honestly believe it and I'm supposed to like research things and think for myself and think outside of the box of like society's stigmas and stuff like that and that's why I love bodybuilding I have no problem with steroids I love sex I have no problem with being open about sexuality or showing off my body that I work hard for all that all those kind of things and being happy with myself and not allowing anyone else to you know bring me down or have opinions that will make me sad anything like that like none of that affects me and all of the, like, stupid shit that you hear on, like, in the media. Like, a bunch of people will just, like, watch TV and they'll be like, acai berries, that's the new fucking health food. And then go around and spread that, like, pseudo-knowledge to everyone when it's just, like, propaganda that's marketed by the media. You know, it's not necessarily a truth. So anytime, you know, the government or the media or anything deems something harmful, it isn't necessarily truthful. It might just be, like, you know, some kind of way to... May save money, it could be to save money, it could be just to control the population, or the population, to control the populace, like control people, or it could just be, you know, something stupid, and it doesn't actually mean anything, and there's no actual facts behind it. People, people can speak and spin fact things that sound like facts when they're actually not, which is something I agree with. Is there anything else? Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's very interesting that the Satanic Bible is just a bunch of as far as I can see, it's just a bunch of philosophy and, you know, ideology that I actually believe in. So it's very weird that, um, you know, in, in the media and everywhere you're led to believe that it's just Satan worship and it's the devil and it's evil and all of these stupid things that it's actually not. But anyway, um, I'm doing this right now. Let's talk about other things. Um, I don't very often talk about religion, uh, just as I don't talk about, like, animal cruelty and animal rights and stuff like that. And some of the reasons why I don't talk about a few topics is because um, I feel like it's going to start a conversation that I can't have with you guys over just comments and responding to comments. I know a lot of people are going to hate me for the things that I've said in this video. And um, another reason when it, it pertains to the animals is I, it's very close to my heart and it's like, it's one of the topics that I actually start to hate people over. Like, and I don't want to do that and I don't want to have that conversation if it's not like a face-to-face intellectual conversation with someone that I actually view as an intellectual equal. 
Um, but rather just like comments and like random trolls that would just like be like, oh, it's awful. So that's why I don't talk about things like that. But it was really interesting to me and I wanted to talk about it because I feel like it would be interesting to you guys as well. I did a fuck ton of videos today. I've also started zooming back up again. So the Terra Show is back as of tomorrow. And I'm doing awesome MTG altars. This one, I can't, uh, I can't, I want Jay to not know about it yet. But it's not done either. Like the wings are still white and stuff. But it's a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. Pigeon toad. And he wears short shorts, and it's, <laughs> it's a lot of the lyrics from the song, and it's really fucking cute. Um, and I'm not done with him yet, but he's gonna be really cute. And, uh, I feel like the ones that are of my own creation are kind of silly, but, um, yeah, let's take a picture. The title of this is gonna be, um, I'm a Satanist or something like that, because it'll... You know, not only will it draw in viewers, but it's actually what the whole fucking video is about. Um, and it's interesting to me that I um, finally read all of this stuff. And I would never judge someone if someone says, like, um, I read the satan Satanic Bible or whatever. Like, I would never judge someone like other people would. Other people would be like, what the fuck, you're a devil, devil worshiper, kill yourself, I hate you, you faggot, or something like that. But um, with me, it's more like, whoa, I heard that's bad, let's read more about it. And that keeps me more open-minded and has allowed me to you know, become more intelligent than random people who just are closed-minded and believe everything that everyone tells them. And even their upbringing, like, if your parents, like, instill certain things in you and you don't fully believe them yourself, you're just kind of going off of what someone taught you, that's never a good thing. So you should definitely question everything and learn for yourself and do research on everything and never just allow one venue to tell you what's going on. Oh, so yeah, other than that, I'm happy, I had a great day, a lot of work, and um, I'm excited to go play Isaac with my roommate and have a great day. So yeah, bye guys!